Hello everybody, I am Nikhil and I am the Faculty of Economics at IS Baba. My dear friends, today I am going to take a topic. I am going to explain you as to how you have to make your notes in a crisp manner. And why making notes in a crisp manner is essential? I have already explained in my first video. It is essential because making crisp notes gives you clarity as well as facilitates multiple revisions. So, my dear friends, let us try to understand different ways in which we can simplify a complicated concept so that the entire concept comes in a single page. This will help us revise it multiple times. Now, we know, my dear friends, I am just giving you an illustration as to how to make this concept more simple. We know, my dear friends, that GDP can be calculated by three methods. What are the three methods? My dear friends, let us assume that a factory is making a t-shirt, is a making a, let's say, shirt, all right. Now, GDP is nothing but measuring the output of a country, measuring the output of a country. That means measuring the output of all the production of all the goods and services produced in my country. So now let us assume that this is the only firm in my country. Now I have to calculate the GDP of the country means I have to calculate the output of this country, of this firm. So let us assume that this firm is producing a shirt and this shirt is sold to a consumer. All right. Now to produce this shirt, this firm is employing labors. This firm is employing, is, is, is renting a land and for the land it has rented, it is paying a rent to the landowner. It is employing labors and paying wages to them. To establish this firm, capital was bought in and this firm is paying interest to that capital. And an entrepreneur is earning profit, is earning profit. So my dear friends, let us assume that there is, this is the only firm in the country and we know that GDP is nothing but it is measuring output. It is measuring the monetary value of the output. So assume that this firm is producing a shirt which is bought by a consumer. This firm is producing this shirt by employing land, labor, capital and enterprise. We famously call them as factors of production. Land, we are paying the landowner his rent. For labor, we are paying his wages. Capital, we are paying interest and enterprise is making a profit out of it. Understanding my dear friends. So, we can calculate this output in three ways. What are the three ways? One is by adding all the expenditure, by adding the expenditure made by all the consumers. This consumer can be a government, this consumer can be a private person or a private firm. So, if I add the expenditure if I add the expenditure of all the type of consumers in my country, in, in the domestic territory, I get GDP, all right. And what type of GDP do I get? I get GDP at market price. I get GDP at market price. At the same time, if I add all the payment which I have made to the inputs, then also I get what is the output produced. So, the input is acting like a proxy to the output produced. So, if I add rent, wage, interest and profit, that time also I get GDP. Because that time also I get GDP. But in real life, we pay taxes. That is why when I add all the input cost, I get gross value added at factor cost. Alright, and every firm is taking inputs, that is the raw materials, and it is adding some value, 
and giving the output. So, by subtracting the output minus input, I add something called as, I get something called as gross value added by at base price or basic price. So, my dear friends, in real life, in the real world, since we pay taxes, there is a difference. Ideally, on paper, if there is no government and no taxes paid, GDP calculated by this method should be equal to the GDP calculated by this method should be equal to the GDP calculated by this method. That means on paper when there is no government and no taxes paid GDP calculated by all these three methods should be the same. But since we pay taxes GD, there is going to be a difference and because of which because of which first thing is we, cal we can calculate GDP by three methods. One is the input or income method, second is the expenditure method, third is the product method or the value added method. Now, in real world where we pay taxes, through input method we are going to get gross value added at factor price, through product method we are going to get gross value added at basic price, through expenditure method we are going to get gross, gross domestic product at market price. So, if you want to obtain from gross value added factor cost to gross value added basic price, I add something called as the production taxes, production taxes minus subsidies, production subsidies, production taxes minus production subsidies. Now, production taxes, you can say taxes like land revenue, which do not depend upon the number of items produced understanding my point. So, you can assume to be that they are almost like a direct tax. All right. And from here to here, that is from gross value added basic price to gross, gross domestic product market price, you can obtain by adding production product tax like GST. This is like the indirect tax. All right. Product tax means tax on the product. So, it depends upon the number of items produced. That is, it depends on the output. But here, production tax is not depending on the output minus production minus product subsidy so my dear friends the entire topic comes in a single page so next time when you revise it becomes extremely easy that there are three methods of calculating gdp one is the income method or input method product method or production method the other one is the expenditure method through income method in real life where we pay taxes we get GVA at factor cast. But on paper where we do not pay taxes, hypothetically if there is no government and no tax, all the three methods should yield GDP only. But in real life we pay taxes, that is why we get gross value added at factor cost, gross value added at basic price and gross domestic product at market price. So, my dear friends, we need to do, we need to have first of all a conceptual clarity of topics and then we, may, we need to make short and crisp notes like this because these notes, my dear friends, facilitate me facilitate me to revise multiple times and revising multiple times brings precision to my preparation i hope you enjoyed this video thank you